Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. We don't need a lot to craft, just one 12 by 12 sheet. Stay tuned. We're always looking for that special way to give a gift, to give cash, to give a gift card, or to give a special message. And we don't want it to break the bank. That's what today's video is all about. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the wonderful way in which you support me and my channel. Most of us really want to be able to give those special gifts. And that's one of the goals of my channel is to make sure that we have options and that we can. And that is what today's project is going to be. So I'm going to share with you how you can get the most out of one 12 by 12 sheet, as well as a few stickers and some scraps. We're going to make this gorgeous five by five and a half inch scrapbook, gift card holder, cash holder, whatever you want to call it. And the beauty of it is we have 10 pages in this from one 12 by 12 inch sheet. So I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So y'all, here's a closer look at today's awesome project. When finished, it measures five and a half by five. And it's one of those things that you can actually mail through the postal system. It might cost just a little bit in extra postage, but not a whole lot. Check with your local post office to see what that additional cost might be, if any. So what I did was I took one 12 by 12 inch piece, made a few cuts, made a few scores, and this is what we have. So we have this little booklet. So when you open it, I have this little tuckable here that can hold some pieces of ephemera, some tags for writing, maybe even a picture if you want. You can also tuck a gift card and some cash behind this little guy here. And then I have this page, which is great for just writing a quick message. We flip to this side. We have another page for writing messages. And you can see that I use scrap and I use stickers to be able to create this. Then we have this little pocket. And in that pocket, I have a few cut aparts. Then I have a little sticker on the back. We have another tuckable right here. And I have some pieces of ephemera in that tuckable. Then on this side, I just let it be a message page another photo or message page here. And then here we just have a nice little decorative page. And here in the back, I used a sticker, a chipboard sticker to create another tuckable. And in that tuckable, I have some pieces of ephemera and tags. So very easy peasy to make. I think this makes a great make a card Monday project, but it also makes a great anytime project because you can theme this for any season any reason, anyone, with just one 12 by 12 inch piece, some scrap pieces, and stickers. So here is what I'm going to be using for today's project. I have the snowman sheet, it is 12 by 12. And then I cut some scraps of white paper. I cut five pieces at three by four. And then I created my own sticker sheet by going through my stickers and pulling out some that I thought would complement this particular project. And I like the red and white of this. So I think that that's what I'm going to go with. And then I also have this pack of ephemera from Photoplay. It's called North Park Trading Company. And I might pull out some of the red and white pieces from this as well. But it's not going to take as much to do this. And I think you're going to be amazed at how easy it actually is to do. So I am going to go ahead and remove the label strip. And before we get started, for those of you who are interested, hopefully you had a chance to go out and grab today's Cyber Monday special at 65% off. If you didn't, I'm extending the 65% off through 6 p.m. Eastern time today. And then after that, it will go to the 50% off. So go ahead and take advantage of that 65% off, or maybe you'll want to get it later at 50% off. So let's take our 12 by 12 inch piece and we're going to make a cut at five inches. Then we're going to take the seven by 12 inch piece 
and we're going to make a cut at four inches. So you're going to have three pieces, one at five, one at four, and one at three. We're going to take all of these pieces and score them the same way. So on the 12 inch side, we're going to score at five and a half, six, and six and a half. We're going to do that on all three of those pieces. So on the 12 inch side, score at five and a half, six, and six and a half. Five and a half, six, and six and a half. So those are the identical scores that we do. Then we're going to take the piece that measures 12 by five, and on the 12 inch side, we're now going to score at one and a half, rotate it to the opposite 12, and score at one and a half. And then I'm just going to fold and a half inch scores. And then we're going to take that six inch score and we're going to fold booklet style. Then we'll take the two outer scores and we're going to fold them like this. So what you're going to end up with is the outside of your book will have this peak like that. And then for that four inch piece, I'm actually going to do it with this side being the inside. So I am going to take this and fold it in the same way that I did the other. But this time the peak is this side. So you can see here the peak is the snowman. So that's going to go in like that. So then we're going to take the three by 12 inch piece and we're going to fold it in the same way that we did the outer piece. You can do yours however, but this is how I'm doing it so that I can get the look that I want. So y'all, this part is very easy. I'm simply going to take the glue and I am going to put glue on that little spine area of the four by 12 inch piece. So this is where I put the glue, right on that spine. Then I'm going to take this piece And I'm just going to place it inside where I want it to be. And where you place it, it's completely up to you. So I am just going to get that nice and stuck like that. Then I'm going to take this piece, do the same thing. Let's add some glue to this little spine area here, which is basically that peak. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it in, just like I did the other one, right in the center. We'll get that nice and stuck. And now we can take the whole thing and I'm just going to make sure that I have a really good stick on this. And now we're just going to close this valley here. So I am just going to take my glue and I am going to go from the bottom to the top. And we're going to add our glue. And I am just making sure that I have a really good stick. So when I open it, I'll have pages that lie flat like that. So now I'm going to take these two flaps that I folded over on that 12 by 5 inch piece and I'm just going to angle a little bit just to get a decorative edge to that. We're going to add some glue. Get that nice and stuck. Same thing here. Fold over. And there's our booklet 
we have this much protruding and I am going to remove some of it. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I'm going to take the center point here and I'm going to slide it over to five and three quarters. And then I'll just start trimming through all of my layers. These are scraps and I will toss them. So now I have my sweet little booklet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages in our book. So if you wanted to make one of these and not even decorate it yet, but you just wanted to make up a whole bunch, that's the process for taking one sheet of 12 by 12 and getting all of these pages. But we are going to decorate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of my pieces of ephemera because I'll be using the bigger pieces to make my little tuckables. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little tuckable right here. And by creating the tuckable, I'm just going to take some glue and create a place where I can slide something in and not have it fall out. So I have this do not open until December 25th. I added my glue here at the top all the way down and across. And that makes it possible for me to be able to tuck in this piece. So I'm going to take this little piece right here, tuck that in like that. Then I'll take that snowman and just tuck that in. On this page, I think I'm just going to go with a mat. So just adding some glue. You can put some tape if you want. But I am just going to put some glue. Then I'm going to take this little flag that says all I want for Christmas is you. Makes me want to start singing the Mariah Carey song, but you guys really don't want to hear me sing. So I am going to take this piece and move it as close to the spine as I can. And we're going to put that down right there. Then I'm going to take this piece and we're going to turn it into a tuckable slash journaling spot. So I'm just going to take that piece. We're going to put it right there. And I think I'll take the word mistletoe, place that right there. Now I can tuck in some little pieces right there. And then we're going to get to the smaller piece. So I'm going to take it and just fold it in half to create a little pocket. I am going to take my glue, place my glue right there. And now I can take this little pocket and fold it over. I'm going to put that Santa Claus is coming to town piece of ephemera right there. And now I can just take a few pieces of ephemera and tuck them in that pocket. I'm going to take another one of those all I want for Christmas and we're going to put it there. And hopefully you're able to see how beautiful this is becoming because I think that it is turning out just great. So then on this side, I'm just going to find a little something that I think is cute. Let's go with the gnome. You can never go wrong with the gnome. So we have that little gnome there on the back. Then I'm going to take this piece here. We're just going to make it a decorative piece. And I'm going to put the little sleigh right there. But I'm going to take this piece of ephemera that says North Pole Express Special Delivery. And we're going to put it right there. So let's flip our page. Go to this side. I am just going to take the word Mary from this little sticker sheet that I made. 
and we're going to put that right there. And so now we still have three pages that we can work with. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to add a little glue here to the center. We're going to take it and put it down like this. Then I think I'm going to take my North Pole sticker and put it right there and then a little candy cane sticker right there at the top. So then I've added this here on the last page and on this page. I'm going to take those trees, put them there, but I'm also going to take that present, put it there, and we're going to add ho ho ho. A little bit of glue. Put that right there. Now we have our last page. I'm going to take these little ice skates, put the ice skates right there, and add that little snowflake right there. Then I'm going to flip over to the back side, and I think I'm going to take these little mittens, put them right there. And here on the front, I'm going to take this All Is Calm, All Is Bright sticker, and we're going to put it right there. And y'all, that is it. That is how simple it was to make this little booklet and then turn the little booklet into something spectacular using a few stickers, a few pieces of ephemera, and some scrap white paper. How stinking cute is this? It's absolutely adorable. You have places right here that you can tuck in cash, you can tuck in a gift card. You also have a place right here where you can do the same thing, tuck in some cash, tuck in a gift card, and you have plenty of places in this little booklet to be able to write special messages. You can even tuck in a photo or two if you want. Super easy to make, but this is what we're able to do inexpensively using a 12 by 12 sheet and then a few pieces, like I said. So we don't have to break the bank to be able to give something spectacular. If someone receives something like this from you, they will know that you took the time to think about each and every page and to make it special just for them. So y'all, there we have it. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's super, super sweet project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. When you subscribe, please make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload a video. I normally upload on Sundays, Mondays, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, but sometimes I do alter that schedule, so having the notification bell set will ensure that you don't miss one of my uploads. As always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.